Sworn this morning, you're still sworn. Take the stand. Defense will cross-examine. Mr. Cogburn, you testified for the prosecution this morning. Now, in order to refresh our memories, allow me to summarize what you said. Mr. Now, according Jim. to your story, C.C. Wharton grabbed up a shotgun and killed Marshal Potter. And then he turned the gun on you, you say, and you shot him. Then you say the father swung his axe and you shot him, too. The defendant here tried to run, you say, and you also shot him. Just winged him or he wouldn't be here to pay up. The old man and C.C. hit the ground dead. How long have you been a deputy marshal, Mr. Cogburn? Four years come March. How many men have you shot in that time? The prosecution objects. All ruled. How many men have you shot since you became a marshal, Mr. Cogburn? I never shot nobody. I didn't have to. That was not the question. How many? Uh, shot or killed? Oh, let's restrict it to killed so we may have a manageable figure. Well, 12 to 15, stopping men in flight and defending myself. 12 to 15? So many that you cannot keep a specific count. I have examined the records, Mr. Cogburn. A much more accurate figure is available. Come now, how many? Well, count them two wardens. 23. I felt you would come to it with a little effort. 23 dead men in four years. That makes about six men a year. It's a dangerous business. Oh, how much more dangerous for those arrested by you. Now, is it not true that you sprang upon old man Wharton and his two sons with a deadly six-shot revolver in your hand? I always try to be ready. Was this revolver loaded and cocked? Well, a gun that's unloaded and cocked ain't good for nothing. Just answer my questions, if you please. Well, a question don't make sense. Don't bandy words with counsel, Mr. Cogburn. Yes, sir. I believe you testified that you backed away from old man Warden. Yes, sir. Which direction were you going? Backward. I always go backward when I'm backing away. <laughs> I appreciate the humor of that remark. Aaron Wharton was standing by a pot when you arrived. More like squatting. He was stirring the... Fire under the scalding pot. How far did you back away? Six, eight steps. Meaning Wharton advanced on you about the same distance? Six or eight steps? Say, about 16 feet? Something like that. Then will you explain why the body was found immediately by the wash pot, one arm in the flames, the sleeve and hand smoldering? Them hogs. They was rooting around. They may have moved the body. <laughs> hogs, indeed. Mr. Gardy, do you have any more questions for Mr. Cogburn? None that I'll get a straight answer to. I'm finished with it. You are dismissed, Mr. Cogburn. 